video I'm going to be showing you how you can work from your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro on your iMac and still be able to use the keyboard and mouse. We're going to be using what's called target disk mode rather than target display mode. What that's going to do is the iMac is going to boot up but it's going to access your disk on your, on your other computer. So to do that we're going to start up the laptop first holding down the key the T key when we hit when we hit power. All right, now there's the Thunderbolt symbol. I'm connected to this display or this iMac with the Thunderbolt cable. And then we're going to do the same thing on here, except hold down the Option key, which will tell it on boot up to go ahead and look for other options for the startup disk. Alright, and there are the other discs. Let this trackpad pair up. There it is. And I selected this Macintosh. So it's going to take a little bit longer than the regular boot up because it's going uh, over a Thunderbolt cable versus um, going in your computer here. But now I can see that I am in fact in this computer. And one thing you'll, you'll notice is if you go to about this Mac, it's saying I have a 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor, and if you go to more info, you'll see that all the hardware of the computer is actually the hardware of your iMac. So you're, if you wanted to edit videos or do something a little more processor intensive, that's going to be easier because you're using the iMac's processor. Um, you're just going to want to make sure you have lots of RAM on here because uh, it's going to be a little bit slower transferring data back and forth on the Thunderbolt cable. Alright, so now that that's all good, you could go ahead and work from this machine uh, to your heart's content. Just make sure that when you're done, you don't simply unplug your Thunderbolt cable. You want to go ahead and shut down the computer first. Because that computer is being accessed over the Thunderbolt cable and who knows what will happen if you simply unplug it while it's being accessed. Then to turn this one off you just hold down the power after the IMAX off of course. Unplug it and start up your computer, your iMac as you would have. And I'll just show you that this is a different computer than the one I was just in. And there you go. Here's my iMac. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to do this with a older, uh, an older MacBook Pro running uh, Snow Leopard rather than Lion and you don't need the Thunderbolt cable, you can just do it with a Firewire, a 9-pin Firewire connection. Thanks for watching.